Are you a teacher? Do you want to do something special? Keep watching this ad. Hey, my name is Anna and you have the opportunity to win two tickets for the Global Teacher Prize celebrated in Dubai. How can you participate in it? It's easy. You only have to answer with a video these three questions. Question number one. If you were a principal, explain the five main points of your program related to Google. Random class distribution on individual sites are not adequate because every child needs to be integrated and included in class. It is not fair that the students cannot participate in the learning sites. I will not allow dividing classes by abilities because all the children have feelings and dignity to tag them for their academic performance. The composition of the groups will be heterogeneous, in which all the students, regardless their race or gender, have enough to grow in the group, as we want inclusive education. In each subject, the class distribution will be planned by the students, if only they do in a fair way, because they need to take decisions and cooperate. And finally, Teachers will treat students by fostering their skills, highlighting their achievements and leading them with love. In that way, students will grow up in values. Schools have an important current situation derived from cultural diversity. According to Villegas, a culturally responsible teacher knows the differences in learning came from different cultures. So cultural diversity affects in the way students will acquire the knowledge, because it is influenced by the child's cultural learning context. It is necessary that every child, with the help of the teacher, know their cultural identity. For that, teachers need to know all the cultures in their classes. Also, cultural diversity affects on peers' connection, all depend on which age. In the case of young children, cultural diversity in class is a chance to learn to cooperate each other, create common objectives to learn, be more aware of multiculturalism, and be more open-minded. On the contrary, in adolescent years, cultural diversity could show different grouping styles in relation with their culture. Finally, each child will experience different activities that could involve their culture. This brings to the class a variety of knowledge that they can share, connect, and discuss. Number three, from your point of view, what are the factors related to the complexity of organization that are difficult that our school should be learning communities? The first factor that difficult the learning community could be lack of motivation that a member or members of the community has. By this way, new knowledge cannot emerge. Another factor could be the excessive amount of information, for example in science, fomented by technology that creates diversity in information. But the problem is that the most of it is redundant. More factors may be the continuous changes in informal learning context, which create a randomness situation. So members such as teachers do not have stability to establish routines in class. Finally, the lack of multiculturalism context that our learning community is placed also affects the development of, of it. Not having a variety of cultures, values and resources limits the exchange of ideas and the creation of knowledge. I think my marks should be around 9. The main reasons are, I've worked so hard during the course and try to do my best. When I make mistakes, I try to solve them. Moreover, I have learned a lot of new things. Schools are complex institutions, situated in a complex context. The relationships between all the components are complex. So, as teachers, we will need to cooperate and organize our schools for achieve the most important goal, learn. To do this, we need a specific style of leadership adapted to our class groups. The major part of the ideas, I know them unconsciously. Nevertheless, I didn't know that students grouping are such an important idea to take into account in our teaching methodologies. Apart from the knowledge that I realized that I will need for my future, I have learned to synthesize, select and organize the information. Also, I've learned to connect all the information.